Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of The Outer Worlds. Last time we finished up Roseway and made our way to the Groundbreaker. Um, now while editing last uh, episode, I realized that I definitely absolutely missed some stuff and I'm really upset about it. So I might be revisiting Terra too. Um, I think we still have a couple quests to turn in, so let's jump in and do that. Alright. Oh yeah, we're still at the bar. Well, we didn't even make it to the bar. She kind of spilled her guts in the hallway, but that's okay. Um, now I, I, whenever I was editing, I remembered briefly while I was spending all of my money that, um, I need to, oh, I have 18 grand. I need to spend 18 grand, uh, doing some quests here. I was really hoping I could get out of it, but I don't think I'll be able to. I'm going to stop by, um, engineering first and hopefully we can, I don't know, earn favor or something, get a discount. Not Julie, I don't want Julie. I want to talk to you. My comm center Sorry. already got an update ping from the backup relay. You're welcome. I trust everything went smoothly. Here's your data. Thanks. Hmm. I couldn't That's rough her up for some money. The only messages in the queue are encrypted ones. Looking at the transmission logs, the relay hasn't received a single unencrypted message in the past 36 months. Must be on account of some new security red tape. Hmm. Well... Whatever's the cause, the board and the Earth Minister will see it sorted. Thanks again for saving my derriere. I secured quite the payment authorization for you from Chief Jun Lei. Nice. Try not to spend it all in one place. Oh, I probably will. Um, you got anything else? Routing through the backup relay has saved us a mess of trouble. Thanks to you, the auxiliary will handle the signal load when the primary's caught in the occlusion. Nice. All right, cool. Um, so that increases our reputation. Um, another thing I was just remembering that I think we missed, since I jumped straight to the ship from Roseway, I think we missed an opportunity to speak to Lily. Felix Millstone. Nice to see you out of Docking Bay. Keeping your nose clean? Oh yeah, forgot. Yes, we haven't talked to her since we got Felix. at least a couple weeks since my last nose-related incident. Uh-huh. I'm glad to see you in a captain's custody. Just try not to steal any critical parts from my ship. <laughs> Not a chance. I sense some history here. It's possible I got caught lifting some spare parts a couple years back, but it was only just that one time. Honest. I tell you to stay out of trouble, but I know you'll find it anyway. Whatever you do, just make sure I don't find out. And make sure it makes us some money. Alright. Well, I'm glad you're okay with me stealing your friend. Or your not friend. Freaking a Gino. Okay. Should we? I guess we should pay the lady now, right? I mean, since we're flying out, we don't have to come back to the groundbreaker, so nothing new there. I think these terminals were different. Yeah. Okay. Um. So let's pay the lady, I guess. Hey, man, how's it going? Is it just me, or is groundbreaker feeling extra chilly? Maybe you ought to. Oh, it's Martin. Hey, Martin. Still wearing the hat? How observant. I'm authorized to state that this uniform is more than headgear. Oh. It's a state of mind. And our customers know the difference. You tell him, Martin. All right. Uh, let's see what Felix has to say it to, uh, what's her face? All right, Gladys. Have you had a moment to look into that little opportunity I told you about on Roseway? You don't sure hurry did. up. Someone will get to snooping around there before you do. Well, they did. I investigated the distress signal from Roseway. What's that? Speak up now. About the secrets you asked me to look for. What'd you turn up? I acquired some research on Raptodon Musk, but I found another buyer. A shame you didn't visit old Gladys first. That would have fetched a good price. I may have thrown in a Xerox of my famous here? sugar cookies just to sweeten the deal. If Auntie Cleo's exporting wraps from Monarch, golly me, someone's going to be in the soup when they get caught. Uh, I found a toothpaste formula, but then I then found it. Well, that's just... just swell, sweetheart. Good for you. I also found a prototype weapon schematic from Force. Bless your slippery little fingers. Isn't that just a shame? Prototype schematics go for a fair handful know, of bits I around to here. Keep it. I think that's it. Darnation. It sounded like a gold mine, 
but maybe that's just my old hopes getting in the way. I suppose it can't be helped. Law bless you for doing the legwork, sweetie. Don't forget your pal Gladys now. You can come visit any time. So about the offer from before. Yes, dear. Which offer were you interested in? Do I really want to give her all my money? I'll buy Udom's official board seal. Well, ain't that peachy? You enjoy that stamp, you understand? And don't you dare use it responsibly. Anything else? Uh, I'll buy the Stellar Nav Baby. Fantastic. Do be careful with it, dear, as these keys tend to be a tad hard to acquire. You should have a chat with Lilia Hagen in the sublight offices. She's a dear. You'll love her. Now, was there anything else? Nah, no, that's it. Anytime, sweetheart. You know where to find me. I probably could have traded her if I had brought that info back. But that's okay. Hey, Bond. Yeah. Do you need a tour guide? I've seen all 12 episodes of Terror on Monarch. Kind of an expert. I'm gonna be able to set foot on a whole other planet. I know Monarch's a moon. I think it counts anyhow. That's true. If it's big enough, right? I don't know. Um. Journal. Let's see what we got here. Inform Wells you have a nav key. Retrieve Udom's board seal. Return it to him and have him validate your papers for you so you can meet with the adjunct. I don't know. I feel like the seal could come in handy. I'm gonna go back to Monarch. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> I kind of want to visit Tier 2 again real quick. Should I give Udom? She did say go talk to Lilia. I wonder if Lilia has any jobs for me. Hey, you got any jobs? If this is something Tobias could handle, see yourself out the door. I got a nav key to Stellar Bay. Is that job still for grabs? Sure is. Welcome aboard, contractor. One of my guys in Stellar Bay has a lead on some high grade salvage, but he went dark before he could spill the goods. We arranged a drop at the Saltuna Warehouse's loading dock. Find whatever he left there and take it to Fallbrook. My gal Catherine will be expecting you. What's Sublight doing in Fallbrook? A few of my contractors run flights in there and out again, working around the board embargo. We keep the community lubricated with a steady supply of booze and unconventional erotica. Byzantium kids with more money than sense can thank Sublight for their good time. You. Why do you have to say kids? How unconventional. Asking for a, unconventional. Asking for a friend. One of my guys filmed a raptodon grinding on an auto mech. Didn't end well for anyone, including the cameraman. Jesus. Uh, what kind of salvage are we looking for? When the board pulled out of Monarch, they buried or sealed anything they couldn't carry off world. Apparently, one of Catherine's teams uncovered an abandoned lab with full tanks of Alta Vitae gas. So I'm going after Alta Vita gas? What exactly is that? It's exactly one million bits per cubic meter. Before you get too excited, the only thing rarer than Alta Vitae gas is a reliable buyer. Yeah, I can imagine. Dangerous stuff. Acid for the nucleon in your cells. It's no good to anyone outside of a lab. I know some lab people. I'll take it. Now, get going. Catherine will brief you on the details when you check in with her at Fallbrook. One last thing. When you're on the job, keep a pair of eyes on the back of your head. Understood? What am I looking for? Don't go looking for anything, except salvage. Just watch out. You'll do fine. Probably nothing to worry about. Probably. Yeah, see? We'll be fine. I mean, it's just a planet full of beasts. What could possibly go wrong? I got no clue what half the junk on this desk is for, except the lamp. Improvised weapon. <laughs> Looks like I'm working for Subway now. Swell. Has anyone from HR given you the new employee talk? We have an HR department? Where is it? I don't actually know. That answers for both questions. <laughs> Here goes. Welcome to Sublight, where salvage runs thicker than blood. We're still trying out new slogans. Yeah. Got any others? Sublight. Because what's your alternative? That one's pretty good. Keep trying. Hey, that's not a bad slogan. Thanks. Oh. oh. Glad to have you on board. 
We could use the help after what happened to the last contractor. You mentioned something happened to your last contractor? Uh, no, I didn't. <laughs> you, you sure did when you told me you were grateful to have me on board. Oh, that. Uh, just stay in Miss Lilia's good side. Stealing off supplies is a good way to end up as salvage, if you know what I mean. Oh, I want that. Knew you were a smart gal. Does Subway handle any legitimate business, or is this just a front? That's a good question. Um, yes. Yes, that sounds right. You did the good job. I'll make sure to include that in the new employee salvage tutorial. Yeah. Yeah, anyway, I got stuff to do. <laughs> We're not going to have to hurt nobody, are we? Oh, I sure hope so. I got a new salt rifle. Hey, we're coworkers. Got any leads on salvage? Doesn't even have to be broke yet. We'll take anything. Uh, all right. Let get back to the ship. All right. I'm supposed to talk to Parv here, so let's do that real quick. Hey, Captain. I hope I wasn't too much bother at the bar. Get one. Beer. I did have fun. And I tried some things I never would have otherwise. And I don't feel it today. I guess that water must have worked. You had one beer. I'm glad I had you looking out for me. That was five minutes ago. Did you talk to Jun Lee? I messaged Jun Lee when we got back and she replied super quick. <clears throat> okay. I was awake half the night thinking about what I sent, anxious to see what you said. I reread my message in the morning and it was unclear. I was drinking when I sent it. Otherwise, I wouldn't have had the courage. Also, sorry for the typos. Okay, not so bad. Not bad so far. I've ruined things in the past because I didn't say things I should have, like, I've met someone who's become special to me. I want to be honest with her, so if she feels the same about me, there won't be any surprises. So Julie does like you, and she said it in the most awkward way possible. Oh, isn't she sweet? It's like one of those two-bit romances where one soul's all stiff and formal, and I should be glad to perhaps take hold of your hand, miss. I ought to go write her back. I mean, I already did. Twice. <laughs> but anyhow, thanks for taking me out, Captain. Damn. You're good at this. I just kept poking her until she, uh, said something. So we can read it here, right? Uh... Mm, doesn't look like we have any messages. Alright, Groundbreaker. Uh, we'll see you later. How did I not see this before? Where did we get this? <laughs> Was that there before? I didn't notice in the last episode, too, that um, Felix has the danger sign that we picked up um, in the wrapped on cage above his bed, which is so true. Hey, Felix. Good to see you, boss. Alright. Good talk. Uh, let's go back to Terra 2, I think. Impeccable timing, Captain. Hmm? I was about to watch the latest episode in Halcyon Helen's thrilling serial adventure. Uh, okay. Welcome back, Captain. Now that you have acquired a nav key to Stellar Bay, would you like me to contact Dr. Wells? Uh, yeah, go for it. Well done. You'll love Monarch. Exotic climate, violent native species, fascinating culture, really. You'll need to speak with Hiram Blythe. He's known as the information broker, and for good reason. If anyone knows where I can find those chemicals, it's Hiram. I need those chemicals to revive the Hope's colonists. They can help us fight back against the board. They can help us set things right. If we don't put a stop to the board, they're going to drive this colony toward a complete societal collapse. You'll see what I mean when you arrive on Monarch. You sound like you've been to Monarch. <laughs> no, never. Monarch is a hotbed of political activity. Hmm. I can't imagine why Hiram set up shop there. Cuisine, perhaps? Where should I start? You'll want to hire the services of a skilled guide. I recommend a hunter by the name of Nioka. Frequents the drinking establishments of Stellar Bay. Very hard to miss. Got it. Once you have everything you need, make your way to Hiram Blythe's compound. I got some questions. Come see me in my lab. I'll answer any questions you have. All right. Best of luck. Everyone on the Hope is counting on you. 
Hey, we can go see him at his lab. Um, I was just thinking we forgot to talk to Udon. But do we really want to? Like, we have his thing. Could come in handy. I say we keep it. Costs me money anyway, right? Oh yeah, I need to eat food. <laughs> Gotta eat the press the right button. Okay. Let's level up. I don't really want to put any more. Persuade 25 seems to be fine. I would like to get this up. Get my hacking up to 45. If we're going to keep Parv with us, then we don't really need engineering anymore. Although, we could just get rid of her and take Ellie, maybe? Probably needs, like, my ride or die, though. I don't know. We'll just do that. Oh, one more to die. Like, why not? Uh, yeah, sure. Um, oh, we have level 3 perks now, so let's see what we get. Actually, I think I'm going to go with this one. It's, uh, your range attacks reduce the target's armor rating by 1 per hit, um, for 10 seconds. And they can stack up to negative 10. Which I think can be fun. So we're going to try that out. Um. Oh yeah, we're supposed to watch this. Hey. Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? Great for quickly closing. Uh, I thought I had that. Uh, you mentioned an aether wave drama? I'd like to see it. Certainly, Captain. I was hoping you would ask. Let's go. Hopefully it's not a long movie. Or copyright. Try to pronounce it the movie. Ruth Bellamy. Ooh, Bellamy. As Halcyon something. I don't need that. It was the law for sake of parasites. I had become obsessed. My quest to stop them. To avenge my partner, Philip. And my ex-partner, Bernice. And Lieutenant Jurgen. And those two informants. Jesus. Had brought me to Rizzo's distillery. But it wasn't just the triple distilled deliciousness of Rizzo's Spectrum brand vodka that I found there. Uh, empty. Kill it. It was death. I made sure the brain eaters paid the price. But at what cost to me? You lost literally everybody. It was not worth it. Or maybe you didn't. Imagine playing a game in black and white. I wonder if they have any. It's you. Philip. This is the Halcyon News Network with breaking news. He's watching. Halcyon Helen has been murdered. Administrator Ludovico of Rizzo's refused to answer the big question on everyone's mind. Who will Spectrum Vodka's next spokesperson be? Claiming that a special investigation must be concluded first. Wait, was that part of the show? Captain, we have a communication coming in from one Administrator Ludovico. Get off the transmission, Cedric. We agreed yeah, Cedric. to let me do the negotiating. Law be with you, friend. I am Administrator Ludovico of the famed Eridanos Atmospheric Complex. But there's no need to stand on formality. You may address me as Mr. Uh, how about I just call you Lou? How about not? <laughs> okay, Lou. Ah, I apologize if I've struck too familiar a tone for your tastes. Let me get right to the point. Wish you would. I was watching. Helen that. is dead, murdered. Her death is the tragedy of our lifetime. As the face of our new product line, her murder is a stain on the Rizzo's brand. She was scheduled to unveil our newest product, Spectrum Brown, before this tragic event. But we cannot move forward with our unveiling until we apprehend the killer. 
And your first thought was to come to me? All right, Ludovico, that's enough. You don't know what you're doing. Let me handle this. Captain Hawthorne. Who are so you people? glad to finally have a word with you. I would have been so disappointed if Ludovico monopolized your attention. Cedric Kincannon, Sublight Underground. I'm so glad ah. we're hiring a third-party investigator. No one wants to see a troop of UDL guards stomping all over my hotel. Least of all me. Oh, hotel owner. The murder of Halcyon Helen is a heinous assault on this colony. I look forward to watching you find the miscreant responsible and drag them out of the shadows. Okay, I'm really lost. Like, we were watching a show and... Did she, did they play the beginning of the show knowing that they were going to cut in half of it with the news? Or did the news just happen to cut in that perfect spot? And did they not play the rest of it because she's dead and they didn't film it? Did they film, did they, what, is it live? Anyway, who, who are these people and how they get my number? I've never heard of Sublight Underground. Don't worry, you and I are going to become very close acquaintances. I run the Grand Colonial Hotel and Piraeus Spaceport. Ludovico and I are business partners, in a manner of speaking. Eridanos is our shared responsibility. Okay. Eridanos is not our shared responsibility. Eridanos is okay. my responsibility, to which you and your organization have latched on like a parasite. I just joined Sublight like two seconds ago. Sublight Underground is built on discretion. I'm establishing rapport with our new contractor. Let's not give her the impression that you can't be trusted. It seems like a dick. Do you really want to do this right now, Cedric? You want to antagonize me while I'm negotiating a contract. Because I promise you, I'll win. Gemma, please, as far as I'm concerned, you're both idiots. First sensible thing I've heard all day. Uh, oh, uh, my apologies, Mr. Ludovico. That was unprofessional of me. <laughs> the captain, I'm like Constable her. Maria Keene. Hiring a third-party investigator was my idea. Nice. I've been studying your dossier. You're reliable and competent. You've been taking care of yourself ever since you arrived on Halcyon. And you're entirely independent. As far as I'm concerned, you're the ideal inspector for this case. Who's been talking about me? Was it... Was it, uh... Was it Max? Inspector Willow Hart. I like the sound of that. I'm pleased to hear that. The future of our complex may depend on your success. I'll leave you in the constable's care. Mr. Kincannon and I must have a word. Sexy. Fine. But Rizzo's is paying for that hotel room. I can't tell you how grateful I am for your help. And even though they may not show their gratitude, I know Administrator Ludovico and Mr. Kincannon appreciate your involvement. Mr. Kincannon could lose his spaceport if board authorities took over the investigation. And if Rizzo's is forced to cancel its unveiling, we might never recover. I mean, could you name it something different? You seem competent. You could have dealt with this. I represent the law, Captain. But what's happening between Mr. Kincannon and the administrator is politics. Oh, I'm not good at that. Politics are not my area of expertise. The law is simple. Politics are complicated. Well, I would disagree a little bit. You sound a bit worn out. Me? Worn out? <laughs> Perish the notion. My days are filled with catering to the oh-so-reasonable requests of Mr. Ludovico and Mr. Kincannon. What's not to like? <laughs> Seem like jackasses. Your words, not mine. Please don't take my lack of disagreement as anything other than fatigue. <laughs> I am a content, productive, and happy member of our society. I'm sure you are. Those two seem to have some issues. The administrator oversees Rizzo's operations. Cedric runs the hotel and the spaceport. They're always at each other's throats. My life would be so much easier if they'd simply learned to work together. Relax, there's nothing I can't handle. I'm pleased to hear that. From everything I've heard, you're a competent freelancer. And at the risk of sounding impertinent, we desperately need the help of someone competent. Thank you for your time, Captain. That is my lowest Whenever qualification. Whenever you're ready, I've authorized the unreliable to land at the Grand Colonial. All right, I've got everything. Transmission in. terminated. Captain, we are now cleared to land at the Eridanos Atmospheric Complex. Oh, why are they trusting me to catch Elsie on Helen's killer? There are several reasons why someone would hire your services. In descending order of likelihood, they are as follows. Okay. Desperation, confusion, ah. mistaken identity. Inebriation and genuine faith in your abilities. Thanks, Data. That's exactly what I needed. 
What can you tell me about Eridanos? Eridanos is a hydrogen helium gas giant, distinguished by a well-defined ring system. The Eridanos atmospheric complex is a system of land masses propelled through a thin layer of the upper atmosphere, where humans are potentially capable of surviving. All right. Um. All right, just got another level up. Oh, might as well. Let's get our Persuade up to 30, because we might as well... I think I'm going to get rid of Parvati, unfortunately, and take uh, Ellie with me for a little bit. Parvati's got shit to do, you know? Let's get my Engineering up by a couple. Lockpicking up by a couple. Yes. Okay. Let's see if Ellie's all decked out. Do you have anything cooler? 205. We can tinker with sh her ship for a little bit. I don't think she'll be using this. Um, 242. I'm gonna give that to Felix, though. Uh, no. This is better. What's Felix's thing? Persuade Sneak Lock Pick. And Ellie's is Sly Medical Engineering. Oh, she's engineering, too, so maybe I don't need her. Well, maybe I'll keep Parvati then. I just don't need these skills. I guess it doesn't hurt. Oh, I can upgrade Sam. Uh, what's Max good at? Intimidate, hack, science. They're all kind of good at things that I'm already good at. I mean, hell, maybe I'll take freaking Sam. I can't, like, equip anything on him, but... Science, hack, intimidate. Eh, I'll keep her, because she gives me lockpick, which is really good. Okay, um... So... We have some places to go now. But, before we do any of that, let's go back to Terra 2. Definitely never spent enough time there. Um, because I want to... Should I give Udom his thing? Do I want to carry around the solar system? I need to visit Phineas, but I want to visit Terra 2. And I want to stop at Roseway, because I think Lillian might be there. So let's stop here, oh, yeah, and then I will check in Roseway, on, t on Edgewater and see if um, everybody's happy now. That I saved the day. Now let's just keep these two. I was really hoping Lillian would be here. Anywhere? Lillian? Doesn't look like it. I guess I'll never see her again. Sell to five percent. All right. Um, let me make sure that they have good weapons before I get rid of these good weapons. Uh, this is better. Uh, 309. It's pretty good. Um, these I was just going to scrap. Since they are worth more parts. Um, yeah, she has one of these too. Cool. 153. Maybe I should get rid of that. She can have a sword. 242. This can take one more mod, so I think I'm gonna give him that instead. Then I can sell the rest of those. Uh, 
Um. Oh wow. Not expecting Kooligans to be here. I was kind of curious to see if Lillian was up here. Or if it's just danger now. <laughs> Looks like she bolted. I wonder if she went that way. Alright, I want to go in here. This is an area we did not search. Look, getting acquainted with all sorts of colorful new smells today. Ah, barred door. Nice. Aha! This is where this barred door went. Alright, and there's one other place that I didn't search that we need to go search. This door right here. I never stepped past this, like, threshold. This is his office. Of course, it's the one room that I missed. Damn. Mostly I came here for the lore, but it's always good to get the loot, too. Anton saved. The safe has been forcibly opened with its contents tossed about haphazardly. The remaining notes refer to various uh, aborted projects. Anton's prized research is nowhere to be found. Scorch marks along the rim suggest the work of unsuitable thieves. Ella's must, most likely made off with Anton's work. I didn't even consider that I could have sold all of that to uh, Gladys. I just kind of forgot she existed once we landed on this planet. Um... From G. Trammell. The last, latest batch is showing great promise, Anton, and though I hesitate to tempt the fates, I might even dare to say it's a smashing success. Incidents of cavities have dropped significantly in the test subjects using the toothpaste. With only minor side effects, nothing too serious, mind you, Tr just a touch blindness. So if you could look into that, it would be much appreciated. Keep this up and you'll find yourself in Byzantium post-haste. Upon further review of our results, we've uncovered something quite fascinating. While the toothpaste does reduce cavities, it does so nominally more than the current version. Our results were skewed by the fact that our test subjects had a marked decrease in appetite, and hence we're eating much less. That will teach us the mon to monitor our subjects more closely. Seriously, though, the appetite suppressant qualities of this new formulation are quite incredible, though the taste of texture and texture leaves something to be desired, so we'd like for that to be your focus moving forward. No need to waste any more time on the blindness thing. We've got the boys marketing marketing working on a solution on our end. Seriously, Anton, you really must let the whole blindness thing go. Your dedication to solving it is an admirable, but also a bit misguided, I dare say. It's really not that big of an issue in the grand scope of the whole thing, and pales in comparison to the texture and flavor issues, which we'd prefer you to spend all your time on. We're also mistaken about our ultimate goals for the product. The appetites, appetite suppressant qualities make this something much more valuable in the township than even Byzantium. The need for less food to satisfy our workers can add greatly to our bottom line, so marketing is focusing their efforts in that direction. I'm not certain, but that may have something to do with them rejecting your app is app suggestion for the name. Let's leave marketing to the marketing department, shall we? Anton really does care, man. So this is Anton's office. I thought this would be Porter's office. Well, um, that's all we missed here, so let's get back out there and maybe stop by Anton. But definitely stop by Edgewater. Oh, wait. Oh, I can take this stuff now. They're gone. You picked the wrong Stop. damn day. Stop. What is happening? Hello? Is this outside? I'm so confused. I guess that was inside? <sighs> Weird. This is the pit and there's no way up there, right?
Ja. Was ist das? Inside? I'm so confused. I don't know what those sounds were. Who knows? Um, I guess Lillian just doesn't exist. Lillian never really was here. It's a damn shame. What? What is this? Oh. Okay. Well, let's go to Edgewater real quick. Now in orbit above Edgewater, Captain. Hey, Barb, we're back home. What's in this door? Wow, you got that? Hello? Have I been in here before? Doesn't look like it. Is there anybody in here? I guess I couldn't open this before. Let's loot this room real quick. Hey, man, what's up? Did you only come in here because I unlocked the door? Because that's not very fair. I mean, I guess I could just murder him. Who else is gonna know? How will they know? I need this food, dude. I guess this is like a kind of a tutorial for stealthing and sneaking, since it's just this one guard moving to different parts of the room, and all the loot's kind of like in the middle. It's kind of cool. Super easy. Alright. I don't know how I missed that last time. Uh, let's head into Edgewater. Hey, anything different going on here? I heard the sick aren't is sick anymore. You guys still sick? Esther brought me some medicine. I'm feeling better. I'll go back Good. to work before long. Friend of mine died a couple weeks back. Still ain't past it. There's like four of them now. I don't know if there's four of them before. Who's this? Thomas. I never got a chance to thank you for hearing me out. Gave me the courage to ask for a job in the workshop. I see you decided to come back. I'm happy when I'm working with my hands. Just gotta convince them to let me use the workshop. When did you get a workshop? Just between you and me? Boss Thompson's got a touch of rancor against Parvati. Said he wanted someone reliable in the workshop. So here I stand, I suppose. Nice. Well, I'm glad you're here. You live with anybody? You didn't even move part of stuff, huh? Is that all we're gonna see? I guess we could stop in the cantina. We'll probably see more people there. Any employees in the cannery? Mm -hmm. A lot more employees in the cannery. Look at this. Keep your wits about you, friend. Huh. Look at that, they're all here. Th this chick? That guy? Hey. What's on your mind? I'd like to talk about Eugene. I paid his burial fees, didn't I? Let the dead sleep. 
Conrad tells me Eugene was in. S I found your letter to Conrad. Didn't anyone ever tell you not to go rifling through other people's correspondence? Planning on stealing gold teeth? Excuse you. Eugene's body and all rare earth minerals contained therein already belong to Spacer's Choice. And we're all part of the Spacer's Choice family here. I'm not. Never mind. I don't have to explain myself to you. She's so angry, guys. Um, I guess that's all the people we're gonna see. And the only other place I could think of that they would be is the cannery. Some deserters, they're back. Not mean to change my weapon, but that's okay. You guys got a new vicar yet? Doesn't look like it. Huh. Not here. There. Hmm. This guy ever so sure out a lot of people walking the streets these days. Sometimes I have trouble telling them apart. How's the hand? Numb to the bone, thanks to Zero G Brew. Zero G Brew. It's an ale that's good for what ails you. All right. Well. Uh, we obviously did real good here. Let's go somewhere else. All right, so now we need to figure out what we're going to do next time because I've kind of run us out of time a little bit. So we need to go to Stellar Bay. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm not going to give that back right now. I'll do it later. Um, we need to go to Eridanos. Um, we need to visit Wells. And we need to go to Silica. Um, let's see. Oh, we can always just go back to that relay whenever we feel like it. So, Marnark is Stellar Bay. Eridanos is way over there. And then also Silica. So, we could go do those three, um, those three planets, moons, asteroids, you know. Um, so I think what we'll do next time is visit Phineas's lab. And then... We have successfully arrived at Phineas's orbital lab, Captain, and we are still in one piece. Shall I congratulate myself, or would you like to do the honors? Yeah, you should definitely congratulate yourself. Um, yeah, I think next time we'll visit Phineas and figure out what's going on with him. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys here next time.